so crazy. Here she is. It still doesn't feel real. Mm. Whoa, we made it. Good morning and welcome to Rome. Right now we're in Italy and I'm so excited. We're going to our next Airbnb. Guys, I just started vlogging today because I didn't have a memory card. I literally brought my G7X and I didn't bring my memory card. So now I finally have one. We're on our way to our next Airbnb. It's insane. I'm so excited. They said that we could drop off our bags. So we have our bags and we can drop them off, but we can't actually check in until like three because they have to clean it. But in the meantime, we're gonna drop off our bags. It's like 11 right now. And we have a cooking class <laughs> at 12 and it ends at two. And then we can finally check in at three. And there you can see our Airbnb. Just to let you guys know, our Airbnb. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'll show you guys later. Well, no, I'm not gonna spoil it. But yeah, welcome to Rome. I can see you are a liar. By the way, I did little iPhone clips the past couple days. So I'll insert them right now. Escape room. Okay, we have the code. We got it. Oh my god, oh my god. We made it inside. How do I turn the lights on? So, this is our Airbnb. All the lights are off. Whoa. This is so crazy. What the f We were literally right there. I couldn't even vlog. We were like right here, like trying to figure out where the f is the entrance, but it's like right here. Oh my god. Look at this. Whoa. Welcome to my humble abode. Just kidding, I found this place on Airbnb and it's so crazy. I just need to show it to you guys. So this is the front entryway. This is where we kept, don't get the Wi-Fi. This is where we kept our keys and everything. And we kind of just like put our bags here. There's French doors, double doors. <laughs> and then it shows, I just need to show you right away. Look at this view. This view is unreal. Like it's just a once in a lifetime opportunity to be staying here. And I'm so happy that I got to and we were able to book it because it's always booked. This is the main living area and we have like this house. I think you're allowed to keep like five people here is what they said. So you can like sit here. You guys have like a little couch here. And then there's another level four. You know what's crazy? So you hear how loud it is, how loud the fountain is. <laughs> but if you close, 
Do you hear how soundproof it is? It's so soundproof because you, you'd assume like, oh, the fountain's so loud, people are so loud downstairs, and you constantly hear them be annoying. This is actually really soundproof, but yes. So, okay, here's the main living area. We have a TV over there. This is the bedroom. We still have our sh everywhere. But this is the bed. I try to make it for you guys. <laughs> it looks decent because we're about to check out. But we have like a little dresser. There's a TV um, and all of our stuff. And then over here, this place is huge. This is the kitchen area. <laughs> this is the owner. Ciao. <laughs> and then over here, this is the bathroom. Obviously, it's going to be a bathroom. But that's the whole Airbnb. I get not over the view. But yeah, that was the entire tour. I'm so excited with Airbnb. We have a lot of cool Airbnbs this whole trip, so make sure that you're watching the Italy vlog. But yeah. <laughs> also, you guys, look at <gasps> the girls supporting girls. This is the gray Y2K set. We have this and then the matching track pants, but I just thought it was cute. This is kind of warm here, so I want to wear like my little skirt, but I just thought it was cute to wear for the video because this launch, as you guys saw, we launched the pink one last year. This one launches this year in October, and she sold out. So make sure to set your alarms, make sure that you have everything set. It's end of October, I'll actually tell you guys a date later. Oh, look how cute! Look so cute! I like saw a girl on Pinterest wearing like a tracksuit like this with a skirt. And I'm like, it's so cute, I need to recreate it. But yeah. These marble stairs are making me so horny. <laughs> okay, whoa. I kind of want to get something to eat, like some coffee. Oh, little baby. This doesn't even look real. It looks like the place that you took a picture at Disneyland. Is it that I'm a soup? Here we go. Cheers. Mm, that's good. so good. I had a little too much wine. I met one of you guys. That was so nice. I did a photo right here. I had a little too much wine. And I want to go shopping. I love you guys. It's a little later now. The sun just set. It was so pretty. The sun was like this pinky sunset. It was so pretty. I'm going to start getting ready because we have dinner later tonight. Um, I'm going to comb my hair and do my makeup. But. Um, this is our bathroom. <laughs> it looks like this. I'm like bright red. By the way, my dress is from I Am Gia. It's so cute. It's one of the older ones. I got it on Depop. But it's so cute and so flattering. I thought it was like perfect for Rome. But yeah, I'm so annoyed at myself because I brought hairspray, but I didn't bring dry shampoo. And sometimes I don't even like dry shampoo. My hair is oily. I like it just for volume. And I was like, ugh. But I'm gonna curl some pieces. I also went to some of the, you know what's crazy here is that they don't have a lot of big corporations, which I kind of love. Like everything is very small business, but they don't have like Target. They don't have 
Starbucks or anything. The only thing that I really saw was like a McDonald's was like a big corporation. Everything else is like like family owned, small business, which is like super amazing. But like I can't find anything. <laughs> like I can't find my dry shampoo. Even to get this memory card, we had to go like 30 minutes out of our way to this electronic shop, which I don't mind. Like Rome is so beautiful, but that's the one thing that I found. If you <laughs> are like here, you're, it's kind of hard to find what you need if you forgot something on your trip. Like dry shampoo, a memory card, I'm like, <laughs> But other than that, our trip has been so amazing. Rome, I think is, I don't know what it is. I think I just romanticize it so much. It's just like a very romantic city. And I've watched so many YouTube videos that I think I'm just like in Rome land. <laughs> And rose colored glasses with the city. It's so beautiful. Um, and one thing that I really love about Rome is that you walk everywhere. It's not like New York where like, oh, maybe you take the subway. Like everything is walking distance to each other. Like the Colosseum, um, the Trevi Fountain, the Spanish Steps. Like everything is at least 20 minutes walking distance from each other. And it's so amazing that you can just walk everywhere. Everyone's told me that don't even worry. Like if you think that you're eating a lot of pasta, like don't even worry about it because you're going to be walking so much. You're just going to burn it all off. Like that's what everyone's been saying. They're like, there's no diet in Rome. Nobody diets in Rome. <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. But I also heard that Rome is the cheapest in Italy. So to make sure to get all of the good food here. Because this is our first stop. We're, we first landed in Rome. Then we're going to uh, Capri, which is a tiny little island. And then we're going to Amalfi Coast in Positano. Um, that's where we end our trip. We have one day in Naples. I'm not sure what to do in Naples. I haven't really researched it too much. But... <laughs> I'm so excited. Sorry, a lot of this vlog is gonna be montage vlogs because you know when you're on vacation, you're just like obviously you're taking photos because it's so beautiful, but you just wanna like live in the moment. I don't know. Like even with the cooking class, it was so fun that we met like other travelers. There's people also from Canada. There's people from like New York. We were like talking to them. But yeah, if you do travel, I always book Airbnb experiences because you can meet other travelers and they're really nice. And yeah, it was just like a really fun time. But I'm gonna continue curling my hair and then we can head over to dinner. I started adding less hair extensions and I feel like I like it a bit more. Also, my hair is growing so I feel like I don't need as much. Which is so exciting! My hair is growing! The oils are working! I just want some hairspray. My second time wearing makeup so far on this trip and I feel like my acne is going away I don't know if you guys follow my spam account. It's Adeline not Adeline on Instagram But I've been breaking out a lot recently I think when you hit 24 or 25 apparently you hit a second puberty and I've just been breaking out a lot And it's finally going away. I think because my period also just went away too, but ta-da Dinner time I got the gnocchi lobster. <laughs> oh my god. I'm f hot. <laughs> mm, it's so good. Okay, it's the next day. Woke up so hungover. Like, I felt like sh this morning, so I think we're gonna go get breakfast. But I like my outfit today. I'm wearing just this dress. I'm pretty sure it's from Windsor Store. Uh, my jacket, I'm pretty sure, is I don't know. I think it's Pretty Little Thing. You have to go into Adeline and Lauren Closet on Instagram because they always find it. That's from Lioness, the brand. And then my white sneakers in my bag. But today we have reservations to go to the Coliseum. I got flowers yesterday, but they're all dead now. Also, look how crazy this is. They're cleaning the Trevi Fountain right now. Isn't that so? crazy look at I think they're just like taking out all of the money apparently they make 3,000 euros a day but all the people isn't that crazy I didn't know that it, they do in the middle of the day Ugh, I don't even want to look at a bottle of wine right now but yeah everything's walking distance so I think we're gonna walk over to the Coliseum I have to double check how long I think it's like 15 20 minute walk to the Coliseum from the Trevi Fountain and I need a cappuccino or like a coffee or something you know what's crazy is they don't do coffee to go here if someone wants a coffee they have to buy the coffee sit down at the table and like really enjoy it that's something I kind of like about Europe is they really enjoy like getting food is a really big thing for them and I don't know they don't like take things to go like we do in America like Starbucks and Importance okay already ready to go 
Yay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> wow. It's so busy. I grabbed an apple. Oh my goodness. Oh no, what happened to you? <laughs> I'm gonna get a lime to the Colosseum. Whoa, we made it. Says the monument was used for presenting animal hunts, gladiator fights, and death sentences. Wait, let me put this down. Why do I look crazy? I'm so happy I ran into a hair store because I really needed a hairbrush. I don't know why I didn't pack a hairbrush. And then I also needed some dry shampoo. Remember when I was talking about it? But yeah, there's this sandwich spot. It's really popular. It's called Al Antico Veneo. I don't know how to pronounce it. But every time we're here, there's always a huge line. Everyone's always queued up right here. And right now there's no line. So I'm gonna get a sandwich. I said you have to scan the QR code for the menu in English. Where's the English? I think I'm gonna get this one. Here she is. There's no seat, so we have to just sit wherever. Look at the inside. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Mm -hmm. Little baby. You wanna be in my sandwich? <laughs> And it was such a big van. Oh, I'm so full. I could burp. It's not coming out. I want to put my dry shampoo in now. But we haven't had gelato yet. This whole trip, we've never had gelato. So I think we want to go to the Chevy Fountain because there's like a gajillion of them all in a row. So we're going to go there. My dry shampoo. Oh my God, everywhere is crazy. Whoa. When I was looking at Airbnbs, there was one Airbnb. It was right beside the Pantheon, right here. I swear it was like one of these buildings was an Airbnb. And I almost booked it. But I feel like I booked some better ones. Also, if you guys want me to sell my um, travel itineraries, I totally can. Because everyone's like, oh, I want your travel itinerary. Blah, blah, blah. I go crazy. I like have this whole notes and like documents for everything. Oh my god. Look, it's like a Kelly ice cream. Apparently, this ice cream is really good. It has like a gajillion million reviews. So we're gonna wait in line. So all the other ones, like, you just go in and get ice cream, but I wanna get to try this one. I got my hand red. She said I'm gonna have two marriages and two kids and I'm very good at investing money. She said I'm gonna live a very happy life. I'm gonna live up to 85 years old and I'm a very smart girl. And she said that I'm gonna have trouble with guys but guys aren't my trouble. I break the guys' hearts and I was like, yeah. And then, yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> I did a happy face. Oh, there's a vagina. We're back in my pajamas. <laughs> it's nighttime. We just finished watching Gladiator on the iPad. It was cool because they showed the Coliseum in it and they were talking about Rome. But there's a ton of movies that we probably want to watch. The movie was so long. It's currently 11.30 and we want to go downstairs and get some snacks. Look, at, we can literally just walk downstairs and get some snacks. Everywhere is still open. I hope that the food places, there's lots of food places around so I hope that we can find one. But craving a late night snack. Oh, 
Look at over there is where we had we went to the rooftop bar. It's almost like three in the morning and it was so fun. We made friends at the cooking class and we all went to this bar together. It was really fun. But do you see it? Right there is the little bar. <laughs> and we made so many friends. We like even made flight attendant friends. Like it was so crazy. The people that we made friends with, they're actually Canadian and the flight attendants were also Canadian and we were all just like bonding over that. There was also people from the UK and they met other people in the UK and they were like, it's such a small world. Everyone's like meeting each other like from their hometowns. But but yeah, I hope everything's open. There's normally an ice cream spot down here. I don't know if we, if, sometimes if we walk down there, there's a lot of food places down there. But I'm gonna put pants on and hopefully there's ice cream downstairs. Ugh. If you want to jump and put jeans on, baby, you won't feel my pain. Just kidding, I'm a small butt. But shoes, outfit of the day. You can really see my tattoos. Bing, bing, bing. Look. The lights turn on. Where is it? Why aren't the lights turning on? It's normally automatic. Ooh. I feel like, is this open? Hi, can I get, um, I want the sprinkle cone. And can I get mint? Mmm. Ooh. Yay, thank you. All of their gelato here is so good. Mm -hmm. So good. All the gelato everywhere is so good. It doesn't even matter what spot. The ingredients are just fresh here. Okay, I'm done. Mm -hmm. That's the bar. Mm. We got pizza like over here. There she is. They have like, that looks like a ham and cheese calzone, but I think it's just like bread with ham and cheese. I want to get pizza. Mm. The pizza is secured. It's a hollow everything we got. Oh! Had this during the movie pizza, pepperoni pizza, and I think ham and cheese sandwich. Taste test. I want the corner bit. Oh, you see that? Look at the steam. You see that? Mm. I just want people watch. I want to just eat and people watch. <laughs> I swear, someone gets engaged like someone gets engaged like every two hours. Everyone's always clapping. It happened two times during the movie. One minute before. We have like five minutes. And it doesn't say our terminal anywhere. But what the f <laughs> What the f is going on? Now we're at 12. I think that's the right one. 90. But I think we're here. We're stopping at Napoli Central. Um, we're gonna get our bags. Ooh, we did it! Oh my gosh, I'm the worst. I forgot to end today's vlog, but I hope that you guys liked today's Rome vlog. Next vlog is gonna be the next two places that we went to, which is so beautiful. It's We did one night in Naples. We did um, Positano in Amalfi Coast, and then Capri, the mini island, and oh my god, it was so beautiful. So next vlog, that's coming up next vlog. But can you tell I got my nails done? Because I'm talking about my nails. Look how cute they are. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Today's merch shout out of the day goes to Ciara on Instagram. She's wearing her Got Rights Must Be Nice crew. Same with Gonzo. Oh my God. And then today's tip of the day goes to Kennedy Pug on Instagram. You just tag me. That's how you become tip of the day. Her tip of the day says the people that you surround yourself with are an extension of your energy, your beliefs, and your goals. It's okay to be selective. So many people ask me, especially in the girl talk vlogs, they're always like, oh, how do I cut off like a toxic person in my life? Like blah, 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 blah. It's not not selfish to cut off someone that brings negativity into your life because 
just you don't need that it's not your job to be friends with anybody that brings negativity into your life and i do like a whole podcast episode on this but definitely be super selective with who you let in who is your friend and who is you know takes up your time because people always say that you become like the three people you surround yourself with the most so if you're surrounding yourself with successful like hardworking people how do you think you're gonna be if you surround yourself with more lazy like <laughs> i don't know people who you know it's not your goal to where you want to be then obviously you're not going to get to your goal because you're not having people around you supporting you and being supportive and inspiring you to be the best version of you i'm so 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 huge on that but i love you guys i'll see you guys in my next daily vlog tomorrow same place to channel you guys bye I'm